it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you some fun fall activities that you can do in Portland. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in Portland. So if you're thinking about moving to Portland or maybe you're just single navigating the dating world, go ahead and subscribe down below because I think you'll really like it here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some fun fall festivities. So a fall must do is to visit the Hoyt Arboretum in Washington Park, which is where I'm currently filming this video. Hoyt Arboretum is a must do for the fall, plus it's totally free to visit. When it gets later into the fall season, there's more fall foliage that you can see, and you can see all the pretty fall colors. Fall colors have been starting for the past week now in Portland, and I'm excited for it to continue to get more red and orange and yellow throughout the next few weeks. If you do want to see lots of fall foliage, then I definitely recommend waiting till the end of October where Portland is more in fall bloom, but there's plenty of fall colors that are going on now, especially in Hoyt Arboretum. So it's a great place to take your kids and walk around and see all the beautiful trees that are changing colors. Another great thing about Hoyt Arboretum is that there are tons of hiking trails that will also take you to Forest Park, which will lead me into the next fall activity to do in Portland. While you're in Hoyt Arboretum, be sure that you take a look at the trail maps because there are tons of hiking trails. And hiking is such a great activity to do in the fall. I mean, well, you could do it year round. You know me, I love hikes. So obviously I had to include some sort of hike into this video. There are two trails that I recommend that you do for the fall in Portland. If you want something light and simple, then I recommend you do the Maple Trail. You'll get a lot of beautiful colors from the fall on that trail, and it's really easy, it's really short, it's not too challenging, so anyone of all hiking levels can do that. But if you want something a little bit more challenging to do, then I recommend you do the Wildwood Trail. It is about a seven mile loop that starts in Hoyt Arboretum and then it will take you into Forest Park. I've done hiking in Forest Park and I have showed you do that in the winter, but it's also great in the fall. So take a look at the map and decide what kind of trail you wanna do because there are many to choose from. What kind of fall activity video would this be if I didn't mention pumpkin picking? There are a couple places where you can go ahead and pick pumpkins in Portland and the best place to do that is out in Salvi Island. Salvi Island is a perfect place to go and go to pumpkin patches. There are two places that I recommend or actually three places that I recommend in terms to go pumpkin picking. One is the pumpkin patch on Salvi Island. That's a really popular one that everyone goes to. One that I really liked that I recently went to was Bella Organic Farm. So it gets really crowded here but they have tons of pumpkins that you can pick from. They have gourds and they have white pumpkins and green pumpkins and all sorts of different colored pumpkins. They have lots of food. They got a corn maze. They have hay rides. They have a cute little cow train that you can take your kids to. And I wanna say if you do go to Bella Organic, everything is cash only. So make sure you do bring some cash or you can just go to the ATMs there. They do have ATMs if you don't have cash, but just so you're aware, it is a cash only place. Parking is free, but make sure you do get there early because it gets super, super crowded and there's a lot of traffic when you're on your way to this pumpkin patch. So I highly recommend that you get there as early as you can. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in traffic waiting to get in and out of the park. Another great place that I really like going to for pumpkin picking is Topaz Farm. Topaz Farm's a little bit smaller. It's not as crowded. It's still busy, don't get me wrong. But I really liked how it was just a little bit quieter and more laid back. They have a really great food menu and you must get their tomato soup while you're there because mm, it is so good. And they have a cute little market that you can go inside and buy organic produce. And you can even pick flowers there from their fields if you wanna get some flowers for your home. What's really great about this place is that they actually have a real pumpkin patch instead of pumpkins that are pre-picked and just placed on the ground because Bella Organic is like that. But I really like Topaz Farm. I think it's a lot cheaper than Bella Organic and you can use your card there. It's not cash only, which is another reason as to why I like this place. It's less crowded and a lot cheaper 
offer to spend your money there. And while I didn't get to go to this place while I was doing my fall adventures, if you do wanna go apple picking, which is another fun activity to do in the fall, Douglas Farm that's also on Salvi Island is a great place where you can go and pick apples. And apple picking is a really fun thing to do in the fall in Portland. So while you've done some fun outdoor activities, it's time to head to the Portland Cider House in the Hawthorne neighborhood, or you can go to the one in Clackamas, whichever one is closer to you or what you prefer. I will say the one in Clackamas does have a bigger food menu than the one in Hawthorne, but if you just wanna stay in Portland and not go to the suburbs, then the one in Hawthorne is going to be your best bet. Be sure that you get a cider flight and get their seasonal ciders. Definitely try the pumpkin spice one. It's really good and definitely doesn't have that that strong apple taste. If you're not a big cider person, you don't really like that apple taste in your alcoholic beverage, the pumpkin spice one is really good and it doesn't have that strong apple taste. I'm personally not a big cider person, but when it came to this pumpkin spice cider, it was really good and it made me want to give ciders another chance. It's all about finding a flavor that you enjoy. And they got a pretty decent food menu. I always go for soft pretzels when I go to breweries like this. So this is a great place to to go to in the fall to celebrate fall and to drink some cider if that is totally your thing. Since it is spooky season, this is one thing that I totally had to include that I recently did, and this is to go to a haunted pub tour in Portland. So this is a really fun spooky activity to do. Definitely do it at night, and it's done by Beer Quest. I will say it is really expensive. It is about 40 bucks per person, but that is because you get a ton of beer throughout the tour. So you'll learn a lot about the Shanghai tunnels and other ghost stories that happened in Portland. I didn't even know what the Shanghai tunnels were, until I attended this and I thought that was a really cool thing to learn about and just learning about some of the interesting history of Portland and a lot of the ghost stories and also being taken to some haunted sites in Old Town Portland was really cool and it was really spooky to do at night. If you want to spend the money on it I definitely recommend this to do something for a spooky season. Had to include something a little spooky and haunted but yeah it was really cool to learn about this and one thing they showed us was Old Town Pizza which is still a running pizza shop. Apparently it's haunted by a ghost who was killed in the Merchant Hotel which is a closed hotel and it's one of the most haunted sites in Portland so that was something really cool that I learned and discovered while on this tour so like I said if you want to spend the money on that that's a really fun thing to do with you and a friend or maybe even a group of people to drink some good beer it does start at Kells Irish Pub in Old Town Chinatown so make sure you get there early and grab a seat and enjoy some good beer and a really cool night of learning more about some ghost stories in the Shanghai tunnels in Portland. And then one more thing that I wanted to mention, which is something that did get canceled this year, but apparently is a great thing to go to in Portland during the fall, is the West Coast Pumpkin Regatta. So this is located in, I wanna say it's pronounced Tuliton. Please comment down below on how you pronounce the name of the city because I really don't know how you pronounce the name of the city, but it's a suburb right outside of Portland. And basically it's a regatta race in giant pumpkins. You can sign up and you get your big pumpkin and you basically do this regatta race in the river which i think is really funny and really cool and they have a lot of fun activities that go on this is a really popular fall festival that goes on in the portland metro area unfortunately it did get canceled due to the pandemic but if you're watching this post pandemic and it is going on during whatever time of the year you're watching this do check it out because it's supposed to be a really fun cool event so tell me what was your favorite fall activity to do in portland also comment down below what you love to do in your own city for the fall i'd love to hear it if you like this video make sure you do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video bye